Alright, so TS Alternator wants to make sure I have a smaller belt and the big three's done. So that's the belt that came off. It's an 82.2 inch belt. This is the belt that went on. It's an 81.2, which is exactly one inch smaller, as they stated. Uh, the alternator is in there. I did note that when you spin the pulley, you could hear like brushes and stuff rubbing on the inside, which you could not hear that on the, uh, the stock alt. So we're going to start this up in a moment and see what happens. So whenever my buddy gets into the car, I'll have him turn the ignition on so we can get first impressions. Hopefully everything's good. Well, I'll tell you, it's not sounding anything like it did. You can still hear a little whistle. But it's nothing like it was. Oh, there it is. So yeah, it's still whistling, even with the smaller belt. You have more over here. Yep. Let me get this through here. Alright, so let me uh, shut the music off here. And we'll kick in a little seeker menu on the 300C to show the voltage. Fourteen two, not too bad. So you can still hear it whistling. So fourteen one after a little rev. Fourteen two. So fourteen two seems to be okay. I'm not too worried about the voltage output. But I am really concerned about that whistle. So um, I'm gonna send this to JS Alternator who uh, reached out to me and asked me about the big three upgrade, which you can see I got pretty big beefy wire here. Uh, the underside straps from bell housing and whatnot, and then in the back, Kind of make sure. See, I have plenty of big grounds. Damn, I'm getting some air conditioning back here. That's nice. Uh, big grounds here as well, going down to the chassis. So, big three is pretty good. So, hopefully, this helps. And from back here, that fucking thing is whining like a little bitch. Thank you for uh, your time, JS Alt. Hopefully, we can get this rectified because that's not normal.